Hi friends, Miss Tracy here from the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Welcome to another episode of our virtual early art education program. This month's episode is inspired by the book, Round, written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Lisa Congdon. Through its illustrations and rhymes, this book explores the changing of the seasons and things you can find in nature that are round. Now we're going to explore the seasons in nature, so sit crisscross applesauce and turn those listening ears on. This snail has a round rainbow shell. Let's follow him. Winter. Do you see anything round? The snowman is made of circles. Spring. Do you see something round? The sun is round. Summer. Do you see something round? It's a round little puffer fish. Fall. Let's count the round acorns. One, two, three, Four. Good job, friends! Kiss your brain! Now it's time for an activity. For our activity today, we have a special guest. He's a shape monster. He's super hungry. And can you guess what he eats? Hey, Mr. Shape Monster, are you hungry? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, shapes. Shape Monster, Shape Monster, munch, munch, munch. What about a blue circle for lunch? Shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. What about a yellow square for lunch? <coughs> shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. What about a red rectangle for lunch? Shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. What about a purple triangle for lunch? <laughs> shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. What about an orange star for lunch? Shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. What about a green heart for lunch? Mm, thank you for the shape.
Now it's time for an art project. These are the materials you will need. White coffee filter, washable markers, spray bottle filled with water, and a paper towel. The first step is to place your coffee filter on top of your paper towel and use your markers to create different designs and patterns. Use all different colors. You want to color in your entire coffee filter. Next, keep your coffee filter on top of your paper towel and take your spray bottle filled with water and spray the entire coffee filter. You can use your finger to help spread the colors and to mix the colors. When you lift up the coffee filter, you'll see that the image has also transferred to the paper towel, which is really fun. But at this point, you just let the coffee filter dry, and then once it's dry, you can hang it in the window. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Thank you to our program partner. Thank you to our generous supporters.